sir. Good morning. We would like to know your name. Uh, good morning. My name is Omori Tasuya. Uh, we would like to know what, you what are the challenges, uh, difficulties you guys face in this business? Uh, actually, I'm not just a trader. Sorry to say, I'm a bronze caster. Okay. So, nice. uh, in the business of bronze, in, in, it's just an economical thing, actually. Like, sometimes sales comes, doesn't come. It's all about heart for you. you. You just have to be on the patient scale to make something good in art. So, uh, the way the way it is for us is that uh we create we create more art we establish uh our god-given talent to see how we can put joy on people's um lives and households so um the challenges we're, past, we're facing i'll say is just that uh, we need more um foreign hate and at the same time empowerment so that uh we can actually be more exposed, just like the way uh, this interview is going now. Okay. It's just, it, can, it can be a revenue for us to so get more and uh, more um, uh, customers or uh, exposure. Because exposure is one of the major uh, issues that's affecting the scale of uh, business. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we all know the current situation of hardship in Nigeria. You understand? Uh, is there? Is it affecting the business in terms of selling and buying? The, it's with the current situation of the country. Yes, it's affecting because um, dollar uh, crisis and the crashing down of currencies is um, the uprisings. They are all affecting. Uh, the sales because sometimes we want to buy the raw materials, the raw brass yeah. to use to cast our bones. Yeah. We find out that uh, the price we use in buying it that was let's say um, five naira today is like ten naira the other day. So how can we buy where we sell uh, some of our old piece or maybe like a token of uh, twenty naira? And uh, sometimes we're gonna go in, we're gonna buy a new raw material brass to use in casting. We earn like fifteen naira to buy. So it's affecting the current situation of the country. It's actually really affecting, affecting our the country. business. Okay, that's true. Uh, uh, sir, uh, what are the challenges in putting these artworks together? Hmm. Is it being you guys cast it here or you 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 place order and it's been you no? Know, Okay. Thank you for saying so, but this is the arts gallery, the arts village in Thailand, okay. the in bronze Benin. village in, in Benin. Benin city. So we don't order what we okay. can do. Okay. And if you look at each um, offices or galleries yeah. in this um, city that we are in, Gun Street right here, each houses have their own um, workshop at the back. Okay, okay. So the front line is just of the gallery look. Okay. But the main workshop is at the back where we do our casting and okay. uh, charcoal work and all that. Oh, okay. That's nice. Uh, so I don't know, sir. Can we take a look at the the back side where you, you... You can take a look, but there is currently no casting. Okay. Out, okay. So okay. No okay. one is casting today, so it's just an empty space. Okay. Okay. No problem. Okay, sir. Uh, why is it that Igun is the only place for casting in the next city? Because, like I said, it's our heritage site. Okay. And it's been like that in not just from this time long, but like in time, on time, like centuries yeah. ago. This is a city where artifact or craft yeah. worship in bronze started from. Okay. Art itself started from Igun Street. Yeah. So in ancient time. Uh, in order to preserve the history or the knowledge we yeah. are having then, uh, we have this form of custom, this bronze custom we use in um, preserving knowledge, preserving heritage and preserving that um, respectable figure that actually paved way 
for us that time like our orbs and some of our uh, historical um, symbols yeah. to it. So it's like that because this is the city where, uh, or this is the city where uh, art was appreciated at first. Yeah. So since it started, bronze started, bronze started here. It's surely gonna be here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's true. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, like this piece of this art work we are having here. I don't know if you can tell us who and who are these people. Yeah, this one here is about Zolo. Okay. Then this one here is Queen Idia. Okay, okay, okay. Probably known as Festa. Festa, yeah. So our uh, head is being used as Festa seventy seven. Seven. Yeah, okay, so okay. This is the husband. Oh, Most people know oh, about the, 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 queen, the wife, yeah. But they don't know about the husband that okay, much. He okay. was a great warrior in the ancient times. Like, it's not just being on our uh, Oba or our king or our monarch, but like, his strength okay. and the battle line also speaks okay. for itself. Okay. It was so strong and powerful, okay. helping and conquering, uh, giving us the strength we had. Okay. So, um, Idia being the junior wife that later got married to, uh, our story is well recognized. That's why we always try to also let people know that uh, someone like this man here brought this woman to live like that. If he didn't marry uh, the world, we don't know how great this woman is to today. Thank you very much, Mr. Uye. Mr. Uye, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, viewers, and don't forget, it's still Visit Edo Limited. Visit Edo promotes art, culture, and tourism, and also adding...